wheelchair softball was born 30 years ago by a few individuals with spinal cord injuries and lower extremity impairments who still wanted to enjoy America's greatest pastime. And today, the National Wheelchair Softball Association is still going strong. Every year, the NWSA holds a championship tournament. This year, the top 12 teams have come out to Omaha, Nebraska to compete for the number one spot. We follow ASA softball rules. Um, there is a few modifications, uh, but the majority of the rules are the same as, as able-bodied ASA rules. Playing softball in a wheelchair obviously brings a new set of challenges. The whole part of the wheelchair, learning how to maneuver it in a sports situation is so much different than doing it in an everyday situation. The wheelchair is just another uh, piece of machinery or tool that you have to use, uh, like a bat, like a glove. So just getting used to using the chair instead of your legs to move through a ball, get to a ball, uh, hit, hit a ball. The hardest thing probably is hitting, because you know, so much different you don't have your legs to help you get into it. So that was probably my biggest challenge, just the hitting part of it. If you're standing up, if you're able-bodied, you can use your hips to swing. A lot of guys don't have hip muscles to do that, so they end up having to swing one-handed. Or even if they do swing two-handed, they still don't have the hip muscles or the trunk muscles to drive the ball. A lot of the players out here have different types of disabilities or grades of disabilities. Some like spinal cord injury, uh, some are amputees, and in my case, I'm a post-polio. So uh, the challenges are is how to deal with your disability and, and, and try to acclimate what you're good at. You know, so you have power hitters, you have base hitters, you, know, you have guys that can poke the ball. Uh, so the challenge is just truly kind of find within yourself what you can do with the softball. And what are all those brackets the batters are using? Well, we call them chocks, and they allow them to keep the wheelchair nice and steady so when somebody swings, either with one hand or with two hands, their wheelchair won't move. I knew it existed. I knew the sport of wheelchair softball existed, and a couple years after I was hurt, it just seemed like a good thing to do, it's an opportunity to meet people, get some exercise, and be involved in a sport that I loved playing You know, before I got hurt. So, it's, You know, it's a lot of fun. You're outside. You're hang it's another thing to hang out with the guys. Um, I'm a competitive person, so give me something to do while I'm not playing basketball. Competition, I just love to win. I've just always been, you know, a real go-getter since the day one as a kid. Always want to win, always want to be my best. So I love the competition to come out and play. To me, there's really no difference. It's just, you know, it's the same, same competitive spirit. The juices that you get inside of you are just as much doing this in the wheelchair situation as they are when I was playing able-bodied sports. You still get jived up and want to win just as much, you know? We are in the East, which we are the only team right now in the Southeast. We're trying to help Nashville and Atlanta and Augusta start teams, so we'll at least have somebody within driving distance. You know, it's an alternative sport to wheelchair basketball and tennis. It's a, it's, it's a fun sport. A lot of guys that uh, have been around the skirts of the sport never tried it. I encourage them to come out and give it a shot. The NWSA is growing in number of teams and competitiveness. You can go to wheelchairsoftball.org for more information about the sport. Here's how the top five teams placed in this year's National Wheelchair Softball Tournament Championships. Hey everybody, Superfan Sven here. I own every single item available on softball360.com. Now I'm going to try to find some stuff you can't find on softball360.com. Today's target, the actual microphone used by Softball360 host, Natalie Kane. I'm Natalie Kane here with Gino Buck. Gino, you had an incredible home run derby today. How do you feel? 